Hi, I'm Dean, I'm the Bard of Buckingham, and I'm going to read you a poem. Uh, the poem I'm going to read to you is the poem that I read at the Bardic Trials, is, which is where I got my place as the first Bard of Buckingham. I wrote the poem itself about five years ago for my son, who at the time was, a really, was really into running. And I kind of looked ahead into the future and thought, well, if he carries on enjoying running as much as he is at that point then, um, I wonder what could happen in the future. Um, as is, his passion kind of waned a little bit and he isn't quite as into running as he used to be. But still, the poem still exists. So I'll read the poem to you. It's called The Child Who Liked to Run. The Child Who Liked to Run Once upon a time, there was a child who liked to run. They'd run for hours and hours and hours and they'd do it just for fun. They'd run to school each morning and they'd run through break and brunch. They'd run home to their parents' house, they'd run to get their lunch. They'd run when they were happy and they'd run when they were sad. They even ran on Christmas Day, it drove their parents mad. Their running got much better and they started winning races. Everybody cheered them on and they put smiles on people's faces. They'd run the weekly 5k race called Buckingham Park Run. They'd run with lots of other folk. They'd do it just for fun. They even had a finish line and they'd take it everywhere. They'd run the annual 10k race from here to somewhere over there. They'd run up Old Dark Alley past the Latin and secondary school. They'd run past cheering schoolmates who thought running fast was cool. They'd run past Hunter Street to Tindrick Road past the university. They'd run past Louis on Nelson Street, past the ball ring lined with trees. They'd run along the cycle path past the printer's BCQ. They'd run to the Lace Hill playing fields. If you haven't been there, do. They'd run to Bin's Smokehouse and the Mitre Pub. They'd run to catch the X5 bus. They won the run London Marathon, but they didn't want much fuss. They'd run through Cornwall's Meadow past Black Pepper and Waitrose and they'd run past all the high street shops where everybody goes. They'd run to the Buckingham Library and the beautiful old jail. And they'd run past five barbers, eight coffee shops, a tattoo parlour, a yoga centre, a fitness studio, a massage parlour, a post office, M&Co, WH Smiths, Leaders, Hardware, Antique Chic, Barclays Bank, Domino's, Prego's, Prezzo's, two dry cleaners, the post office, the news agents, Oxfam, Scope, the King's Head, Coffee and Gin Bar, for a gin, the White Hart for an ale, the Woolpack, the New Inn, Florence Nightingale. And they'd run to the, the concrete skate park, past the town hall and three cups. They'd run up to Tesco's roundabout, the one the developers messed up. They'd run all along Badger's Way along the Buckingham Canal. They'd sometimes feel quite lonely, so found company with pals. Their running days turned into weeks, and their weeks turned into months, and the years raced on and still they ran, and they always came up trumps. They ran to save a life one day, they ran the railway walk, and they ran along Stowe Avenue where people go to talk. They ran into the local church to start their married life. They ran to the maternity ward in Milton Keynes University Hospital to speak to a midwife. They'd run around Borton Park and, and up and down Page Hill. They couldn't stop that running, all that running made them ill. They ran into Swan pa Practice to hear what the doctor might prescribe. And when the nurse in there took their pulse, she couldn't quite describe. The condition that you have, said Doc, is something very rare. You have a virus called runningitis, so I'm prescribing you a chair. They'd run to the moon and back, you know. They'd do anything now to stop. And one day they did, you know, when they'd finally reached the top. They ran to the Buckingham Civic Day to collect their running medal, and they met the mayor with silver hair. They were awarded a bike to pedal. The Buckingham Advertiser ran a story, and it made Buckingham what matters, and the conversation was positive, leaving all the Brexit spats in tatters. They had all the fame and glory, and they'd seen everything they could. They looked back on their running days, and they, they knew their yesterdays were good. One day they ran out of breath. They couldn't run much more. They could barely get up and out of bed, and their joints were old and sore. They reached the point where age had won, and their hair had thinned and greyed. They ran out of time in this life. Their time had run away. 
We ran to Buckingham Cemetery to say our last farewells, and the tears ran down a thousand cheeks, and to the ground they fell. Now they run somewhere else, wherever somewhere is. And if anyone talks about them, they speak through running tears. Once upon a time, there was a child who liked to run, and they'd run for hours and hours and hours, and they'd do it just for fun. <laughs>